Uh, hi, good morning. I'm Dinesh from MobiTrack. Uh, uh, how many of, of the people here are uh, sales guys who are into sales or who are into marketing? Okay, you guys will hate us. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we are into sales and field uh, at force tracking and workforce tracking. Um, what we do is, uh, we've been started in uh, February 2010. Uh, instead of using all RFID and all that, we have a simple solution of using an application. Android application, and through which uh, we use a web uh, page uh, to track your sales force. You can also use something called, we have a feature called signature and camera, wherein in the app itself, you can take the signature of your customer. Yeah, And what we are trying to do is, we are trying to use the same concept in maybe in rural market also. So we are coming up with several developments, several projects, wherein uh, we can help rural people take uh, or use these kind of apps to get att attendance for HR purposes or for companies who are, let's say for few villages they are going to supply or something, they can use this as a delivery uh, option. Let's say there is a, a application, in this application, there is something called job assignment, wherein through web page you can assign jobs to people. Yeah. So when they go, what they do is, uh, they don't have to look at anything else. They have to keep the app open. And once the job assignment comes, they just have to click accept. So for rural markets, this will be very useful. And they don't have to spend a lot of money for buying devices, like RFID devices or anything else. You can use your own Android mobile to attract people. So we have something called geofencing. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you people will know what geofencing is. That is, you can put a fence on the map. If somebody crosses that to a fence, it will give a message to your mobile phone. And it says that this guy has crossed this area. This can be, uh, you, this is used by Flipkart and uh, one more Sangeeta. Co company Sangeeta. and Sangeeta Mobile. Both of them are using it. Right now they are testing uh, this feature. And uh, they have come up with a lot of uh, feedback for us to work on it. And uh, this is our feature sets. Uh, you can have uh, images sent on the fly. That is, if your uh, sales guy has gone to a, a distributor and you don't believe your sales guy and you think that guy is lying, so you can ask him to take the picture and send it back to you. Yeah? But uh, I'm just joking here, but uh, most of these companies, especially we have a company called Product India, okay? They, are, uh, they have taken one year subscription from us and uh, ah, that's fine. They have one year subscription from us and they have people working all over India. Okay, so they cannot track these guys whether they're really working or not. Okay, so what they do is uh, they go about, uh, uh, they tell, they give you give a lot of report. I met this customer, I met that distributor, but nothing comes back to them. I mean, no kind of revenue or no kind of reports are there, but they are saying that customers are denying. So what they did, they came back to us and told, please give us, please put this uh, uh, into practice in our company. So what they, what we did was we installed this in all the devices. And once they found out that there were 40 sales guys in their company and 20 guys were lying. Yeah? And they were lying saying that we've met this distributor, that distributor. But uh, what they asked them to take pictures. Okay, you take the picture, when you get, uh, get in, get the signature of that guy. Okay, then they got caught. So what the, we are trying to do is we are trying to increase the efficiency of the companies. And we think that this might be useful in rural market. We'll come up with a model wherein we can share it with the NGOs and we can, uh, you know, make it better. Yeah? Thanks a ton. Question for clarification information. Yeah. How much is charge for you? Uh, sir, we have a uh, subscription, uh, subscription based model, wherein uh, we give you a free trial for 15 days. Then uh, you can take for 3 months, 6 months, and 12, 12 months, 1 year. Yeah, annual subscription. Per subscription, per user is 200 bucks. That's it. No, not per year. <laughs> per user, for three months, it's 200 rupees. Yeah? So that's how it is. And hopefully, we'll find some bias here. <laughs> yes. Uh, sir, okay, fine. It's a really good idea. Uh, just I would like to uh, ask you, could you please uh, speak on the constraints which you must have observed during the beta testing? Yes, sir. The main constraint. Ah, the main constraint. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know here is battery problem. 
in most of the mobiles when you switch on the gps and internet uh, it goes for a toss <laughs> what we are trying to do is we have uh, several android developers who are right now working with google themselves to find out some solution in power management and as you know google doesn't give out a lot of help that easily so we are trying to improve power management that is the only concern we have because for 8 hours it works and after that what happens is it stores in server yeah yeah but it doesn't give out much uh, indeed so do you have any mitigation plan for this yeah we are trying to ask our buyers to use uh, mobiles with good batteries <laughs> <laughs> But that's, that's not the foolproof solution. Full what, what solution, they are working on it actually. They are trying okay. to do something wherein only through internet or through signal. Okay. But okay. signal doesn't give you a, gives a very bad radius. GPS okay. gives you about 100 meters. Okay. So uh, another solution could be, you know, you can make a system like wake up and sleep. Uh, so that could be one of the good solutions. As and when required, you make wake up your system and otherwise let it be sleep. Sales guys are stopping this. No, but but that, that's, that's the only problem yes. I, which I could see. That's the only solution which I could see. Another point which I would like to essentially mention that you talk about uh, instead of using RFIDs. Yes, sir. So I don't think you are uh, RFID, you are, you know, avoiding to use any RFID has different okay. domain and this is not the alternative for RFID. So RFID have good applications in logistics uh, and yes, sir, manufacturing. We had the same issue. Sorry for uh, you know. No, no, please, please proceed. The thing is uh, Reliance Industries. They have huge problem with this. What they do is they have uh, people go taking their cabs, going to home, but the cab drivers are asking more money. Right. Yeah. And what we did was okay. Thank you, dude. We said <laughs> you please uh, install this app in your mobile phone, and they were using RFID. Uh, I don't know what in exact manner, but they were using RFID and it was not giving them any solution. What we do here is we attach bill system with the same application. Okay. Okay. So okay. that okay. way okay. we were able to Fine. count. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Can we have Tecla bike on a stage? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Sebastian. I'm from Augusta International Foundation. Uh, so first, I'll just give you a brief uh, idea of Augusta International Foundation. Augusta International Foundation runs the world's largest hands-on science education program in the world. Basically, we have different programs under Augusta International Foundations. One would be the hands-on science for children, teacher training, young instructor leaders, low-cost model making, toad food job, uh, make your own lab, gifted children, library and community reading, eco reforestation, design thinking, mobile labs. So basically what in Augusta we try to do is we try to spark curiosity among children. Now how do we do about this? We do this through hands-on science education. Now what happens in hands-on science ed education is children get hands-on in way of which we propagate science education in rural schools. So we have around 100 mobile labs operating in around 12 states of India around more than 50 districts of our country. We have a 170 acre campus in Kuppam, which is in Andhra Pradesh, which uh, is a creativity hub, wherein we create models and which is used for all over the country. Now, spark creativity, foster creativity, instill confidence. These are some of our achievements and recognitions. Last year, we won the Google Impact Award, you know, for the Tecla Bike Project, which I'll give a brief orientation about. We are also uh, with HP, which has uh, nominated Agastya as a global leader of the leader consortium. We have tie-ups with LNT, State Bank of India, Cisco, and other donors as well. Now I'll just give a brief uh, uh, description of Tecla Bike Project. Now through Tecla Bike Project is winner of Google in Impact Awards in the year 2013. Now what we try to do this through this project is Tecla Bike is a network of internet enabled lab on bikes focusing on following hands on science for children, multimedia exposure for children, digital literacy for teachers. Now, hands on science for children. Now, as the bike suggests, the bike is fitted with two boxes. These two boxes carry hands on science experiments, simple experiments related to syllabus of school children of government schools. And uh, there will be one instructor with this bike, who will be a teacher. He will have a bag which will have a laptop which will have a laptop and a projector. Now, 
in the morning session the same instructor will teach the children hands on science education and he'll also show them videos related to science concepts in the morning up sessions so what happens through this is children get both the digital literacy as well as hands on science education which will help them to generate more curiosity and creativity among them then the second is it results to multimedia exposure for children now in the second half the what the instructor will do is he'll have a session with the science teacher wherein he will explain them basics of computers you know how to send a mails and different types of uh, linkages and then they will connect a network a network of 18 school teachers in a taluka wherever they are operating and this network will help uh, science teachers to post uh, post questions related to science and each of the science teachers can then interact with each other create a committee and a club and wherein they can have a good interactive discussion and get on hands on science education and and propagate science through different techniques in different schools and this can lead to many much more activities now uh, see so agastya's instructors would carry a daily laptop projector data card and mobile science labs on the bike now i'll just like to share an example of uh, uh, a story of uh, two girls rani and roja once they were sitting in a uh, in a village in andhra pradesh in hot summer under a tree they they felt it was good you know they felt that the uh, they felt the shade was good and they felt cool but then they went to another tree and they realized that different trees have different cooling effects and that led to a project with agastya instructors wherein this uh, project cooling effect of leaves won the intel iris award competition so this is how through hands on education through through building creativity among students you know we try to bring about five attitudinal changes yes to why looking to observing passiveness to exploring textbook to hands on and fear to confidence yes to why because students need to ask questions or else in normal classes they just say yes we know it yes we know it we ask them why why does it happen looking to observing normally ch children just look in the class but we believe that they should observe you know passiveness to exploring they should explore uh, different concepts of science and then textbook to hands on hands on is the only way uh, india can move forward that's because it creates and fosters creativity so that's the one way and from fear to confidence children should not fear science subject or any other subject they should be confident about science subjects so that's how in agastya we try to bring about uh, and revolutionize revolutionize education through these programs and the tecla bright pro project is a three year projected impact uh, across three states in haryana gujarat and karnataka these are details of statistics we wish to cover we already started this project in haryana and uh, we are trying to bring about social change through hands on science education in india thank you